Navarro. She is the owner of El Taquito Grill. Uh, so, Lynette, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, to start off, I'm only 20 years old and I've been very blessed to have the opportunity to be in the restaurant business. My parents started this business when I was around eight years old and it was just long days, long hours. I would sit in the bathroom of our smallest restaurant on my iPad till 3 a.m. and it was, I would get home tired and I've been in this since I, as long as I can remember. And little by little, I got the hang of things. I started becoming a waitress. I learned how to cook. I learned how to manage. And one day, one thing that led to another, and my parents were like, hey, let's, let's open a business. Let's have you run it, you and your uncle. Let's do it together. And well, here we are in our newest location. That's awesome, that's awesome. And how did you come up with El Taquito restaurant? Um, well, we came, uh, from Mexico many, many years ago. I was two years old when we got here. My dad has cooked his entire life. He's cooked anything and everything from Italian to African food to Mexican food. And it was, we were struggling for a little bit in 2008, 2009, things got kind of hard. And our whole family was telling us we should open a restaurant because my dad's cooking is amazing and it's something that we never thought was possible as an immigrant family you know and little by little we gained the confidence we saved some money and well we started with el taquito a very small very small place takeout only one grill one fryer and we just grew and grew and grew and now we're here we're here where we are and authentic Mexican food. That's awesome, that's awesome. How many locations do you guys have so far? This is our fifth location. We have two in Coconut Grove, the original hole in the wall, El Taquito. We have one called Taco Way now, one in Fort Lauderdale Beach, where you can see our annual, the annual plane, airplane show. We have one in Little Havana, 8th Street, and this one, Kendall. Awesome, that's great. And as far as for the signature dish, what is what, what, what can you say is your signature dish? Our Al Pastor tacos are as authentic as it can be. My mom, born and raised in Mexico, grew up in Mexico, says sometimes she closes her eyes and she eats the taco and she feels like she's there. So it's, it's really close, it's really good. We make it on the gyro machine, it turns, slowly turns. We cut it as it cooks, we put it on, a, on the big dish. Awesome, That's we, great. pineapple and everything. Oh my God, sounds mouth-watering. And when your customers come, what type of experience do you want to provide to them? Um, we just want to make them feel at home. My waiters, I have a very extensive interview process. I want them to be very buddy-buddy, very, a customer walks in and they feel like they're home. They feel like we've been best friends their whole life. A really raw experience that you can't really get anywhere else because Lately, nowadays, you just get there, scan the menu, order. It's very dry, very disconnected. Everyone's on their phones. There's a lot of technology. And I want people to remember our customer service. I want them to not only remember the food, but remember the environment they were in, what they saw on TV, their, their waiters smile, how well they got treated. From it's, a begin it's an experience from beginning to end. And it's not just the food. It's everything that revolves around the restaurant and everyone in it. That's awesome, that's awesome. And now for the last question, is there a secret underground menu that you guys have or dishes? Um, well, we have a birria queso pizza. It's not on the menu, but if you know us and you've been here every once in a while, we kind of tell certain people and they order it. It's two big 12 inch tortillas, cheese on both end, with birria all over inside. We put them together, we cut it in six. We give you that the sauce that comes with, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of onions, and you dip it and it's just the juice of the cheese and the sauce and the colors and you'll, mind blowing. You'll love it, you'll love it. That sounds amazing. Well, thank you so much. I want you to give us a tour of the chef, maybe some dishes, and we'll see also some drinks. A hundred percent. We'll do it. Awesome.
right now we're making the guac. Our guac is made fresh every single day. So what we gotta do, they get the guac, the avocado, they gotta mash it, they put some, some onions in it, a little bit of lime juice, and they just mix it so it's the perfect consistency. The secret is a hint of jalapeno juice. It gives it a nice kick in the back. Putting in the tortillas, you gotta heat up the tortillas just a little bit. You gotta keep it authentic with the three corn tortillas, always. The freshly sliced al pastor. We throw it on the grill just a little bit, a little bit, so the juices can marinate a little bit, heat up, heat it up a little bit. delicious that looks. Let's take a quick bite and try it out. Some lime on top. Describe what you're tasting. Delicious. <laughs> Let me see the center of it. This is our secret avocado cilantro sauce. Oh, nice. All right, so we have the secret avocado cilantro sauce as she mentioned. Let's go ahead and put some and taste the flavors of this avocado, well, cilantro sauce. Mmm. What do you feel? It's so flavorful. It's not spicy, so for those that don't like spice, like me, this is amazing. Usually cilantro sauce are spicy, so they are able to accommodate to both people that like spiciness and that don't like spicy, which I like that. Not every Mexican place like does that. It's very juicy and tender, the meat inside, as you can see. And overall, the flavors is very well balanced. A plus, 10 out of 10.
All right, so I went ahead and mixed both the cilantro, non-spicy, and the other spicy sauce put together. They said that it would taste delicious, so we're going to give it a shot. Look at that, make sure. Let's take a quick bite of El Taquito Girl. Hmm. Delicious. So it's not overpowering whatsoever. Like you said before, it does enhance the flavor. What I like about it is that it is a spicy uh, sauce, but it's something that is so manageable that even those that don't like spicy sauces, like myself, will eat it. So this is 10 out of 10. So we're gonna make a mangonada, something you don't see anywhere. It's pretty much, if I can describe it, it's a frozen mango margarita, but it, it, it has our twist to it, a taquito twist. So we start off with your four ounces of tequila. We have a loophole, so it's all fermented tequila. It's a loophole into the beer and wine license. It'll get you where you wanna go though. We put, our margaritas usually take three ounces of tequila, but today we're putting four, just cause we're gonna be blending it with ice. We don't want the taste of tequila to go away. Next, we got our mango mix right there. Two ounces of this thing. And then one of our super secret margarita mix that we make in home. We tried many, many, many mixes, but ours is the one that works. There we go. Now we start this thing. We get our glass. We're gonna dip it in some chamoy. All right, there. There you go. And some tahini to get that spicy in there. So while you're drinking, you got a nice little kick. And get that going. So we give this the rim a nice little smear of some chamoy right there. We got the four. We got right there a popsicle. A little orchid. It's on top of it all. And there you go. Mangonada. Only added taquito. You have a straw? All right, so as you guys just saw, she just created a mangonada. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and see how it tastes. Oh my God, this is delicious. You can just feel the flavor of the tequila, but not overpowering. And then you also feel the mango juice. Uh, you also feel the sweetness, which is right here, as you may see, of chamoy. It's so good. I've heard that this is the best mangonada that they have, which is sold here at El Taquito Grill. So I think you guys you guys want to come and try not only the taquitos al pastor, but also ask for a mangonada and they will go ahead and make it for you from scratch. All right, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to go ahead and dip the popsicle 
get a little bit of tequila in there, you know. Oh my God. Guys, this is delicious. This is literally a whole other experience. Right now, we're in summer in Miami. Days are hot. The first thing you want to be able to drink is one of these because you not only have the popsicle that it's cold and it's ice, but also everything else just complements it. It is so refreshing. You, I know you won't get a hangover out of this. Come, you guys gotta come back and have our Taco Tuesday special. $3 for three tacos, chicken or steak. You won't regret it.